we prove this result by the method of contradiction okay for that what we are assuming root 5 is a rational number at first assume root 5 is a rational number okay so by the method of contradiction you have to note that why we are moving this method that is we have only two result that is either root 5 is rational or root 5 is irrational so that's why we are moving by the method of contradiction here okay then p root 5 is rational then root 5 equal to p by q where p and q are integers and q not equal to 0 and h is a for p comma q equal to 1 p and q are 4 primes okay this is our assumption then what next we are taking q to the left hand side then root 5 q equal to p if root 5 q equal to p then what next on squaring on both sides we will get 5 q square equal to p square by squaring on both sides okay 5 q square equal to p square what this implies 5 divides p square or p square is a multiple of 5 as in the previous cases 5 divides p square since p square is a multiple of 5 okay then what this implies 5 divides p by the theorem let p be a prime number if p divides a square then p divides a where a is a positive integer okay in this method you have to mention what is our theorem is about while writing the proof in your examination or either you are writing answers to some question you have to mention our theorem like this then what is next e 5 divides p then 5 is a multiple sorry p is a multiple of 5 that is e 5 divides 25 then 25 is a multiple of 5 like that what we can write then p equal to 5c okay if p equal to 5c what next what is p square if p equal to 5c p square equal to 25c square that is q square equal to 5q square equal to 25c square here 5 is common here 5 is common here cancelling each other q square equal to 5c square okay if q square equal to 5c square then 5 divides q square and then what we can conclude 5 divides q from this theorem then e 5 divides q and 5 divides p what we can conclude 5 is a common factor of p and q okay what happens which is a contradiction to the fact that h is here for p and q is one that is p and q have a, another common factor which is 5 okay if 5 divides p and 5 divides q then p and 5 has a common factor that is what is our assumption what is our definition here h is here for p comma q equal to 1 but here we got the highest common factor is 5 then which is a contradiction to the fact that h is here for p comma q equal to 1 it is it can be 5 or more than 5 so our conclusion hence our assumption that root 5 is rational is wrong Okay, then what is other if it is wrong then what is other result root 5 is a irrational number